All right, this weekend was a heavy sports weekend, but the sports world has been blowing up with controversy all summer. So today we're going to take a look at the top stories in sports hitting your headlines. Joining me now is our own Brandon Pope for this one. And we've got a special sports reporter who's mighty attractive in today, Shay <laughs> Pepler. What to expect? from Mitch Trubisky in his first start on Monday Night All Football right. at the Bears. This is a huge platform for a guy everybody's been calling for. They've been hesitant to do it. Here we are in week five against a vaunted Minnesota Vikings defense. Should we be expecting the worst or should we be no, optimistic? No, I think we should be optimistic. I mean, first of all, this is the first time a rookie quarterback is going to start on Monday Night Football since 1999. So mm -hmm. you'd think the pressure would really be on him, but he's very cool, very calm, collected, and he's been like that since day one. Even when the media would ask him, when do you think you're going to start? What's mm -hmm. your relationship like with Mike Glennon? This guy has always been cool and calm and ready for the big moment. So I don't think we should expect any first time jitters out of him. However, I do think we're going to see a more athletic offense, even in speaking to some of his teammates like Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard and Adam Shaheen. No disrespect to Mike Glennon, that's what they said to me, but they said, hey, we're going to see a more athletic guy under center. Mm -hmm. I would expect more passes down the field, open up the offense, spread it out a little bit. He can use his feet. This guy's a mobile quarterback. So hopefully that'll ignite some points on the scoreboard as well. But I think we're in for a treat tonight in Monday Night Football. Yeah, a few more rollouts there for him as well. And I mean, yeah. anything's better than Mike Glennon. Let's be honest. Oh, jeez, be oh, yeah, 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 come on. Come on. I would I actually mean. be more concerned about the defense than I would be about the offense tonight mm. because you're really depleted at the linebacker position. No Danny Trevathan. He's obviously suspended. Not obviously, I guess. He's suspended uh, <laughs> for tonight for a hit on uh, Devontae Adams in the game against the Packers. And then Willie Young, one of their really good linebackers, has a torn triceps, is what just came out. So the linebacking core is really depleted. I'd be more concerned about the defense because they're also preparing for two quarterbacks. Mm. You think Sam Bradford's going to get the start? However, you're not sure. Case Keenum could get the start. So that's really right. I think the concern and is. both have been playing well too. That secondary's got to be careful. Yes, I agree. All right, well let's shift to the Cubs. let's shift to the Cubbies because the Bears aren't the only headliner. Matter of fact, the headliner is these Cubs. <laughs> Jose Quintana traded from the South Side yeah. here on the North Side. Now he's playing some big time baseball. His first postseason appearance. It's in Wrigley. The series is tied. <laughs> Shane, what's going to happen with this one? Um, on the other hand, where I said Mitchell Trubisky, cool, calm, and collective, I definitely think Jose Quintana has got some first-time jitters. Oh, this no. is his first playoff oh, appearance. No. I, I just think he's really excited for the moment. I was actually at Wrigley yesterday and in talking to Joe Madden. He's like, hey, of all the things, I'm just worried he's too amped. He's too excited. He said right when he was traded to the Cubs, that is the first conversation he had with me about getting excited to pitch in the postseason. So I just think Jose Quintana, if he can temper his emotions a little bit, temper the anxiety, another word I know Joe Mann doesn't like to use, so maybe I shouldn't use it, temper the excitement, he should be really good. I know another thing he said yesterday was he doesn't want him to show him too much too early. Mm -hmm. Jose Quintana has never pitched against the Nationals, so he might have an advantage, at least the first time through the, through the lineup. But after that, he's got to take a deep breath and calm down and hopefully not give away all his good stuff early on. Yeah, kid's got to chill out a little bit. I mean, he's a lefty. Uh, this is a big moment for him. And fortunately, the Cubs got at least one on the road. That's so true. not as much pressure as if you're down 0-2 going yeah. in. I think it could be a good moment for him. Uh, I'm, we're going to hope it's yeah. a good moment for him. Right? <laughs> well, you, you've been around this team. Obviously, yeah. you, you said they're, they're very loose right now. But yeah, I'm more loose. curious about the pulse of... Chicago in general. Do you mm. feel like there's pressure on this team? They've already won the World Series. So does Cubs team feel the weight of the world on them and trying to repeat or is it not as much pressure because they've done it? Um, I don't think it's as much pressure. This is such a young team and just being around that team. It seems like outside the, the pitchers because they kind of keep to themselves a little bit more. They are so cool and calm. I've used that term now so many times in this in this interview, but the, yesterday they had breakfast on the field. They were watching football mm. on the field. Very chill. They were running around. They were bunting, playing catch. Ben Zowers is out there with his kids playing catch, and everyone was getting involved. I mean, you would not know it's playoff baseball time at all, and that is something that Joe Madden has really harped on. He wants it to feel loose. He says, I don't understand going out and getting a longer scouting report in the playoffs. I don't understand adding more pressure to your guys because that just makes their mind turn. It doesn't make any sense to me. So he wants it to stay light and loose, and I'd say, I don't think they feel fresh pressure. However, I think it's World Series or bust if you're a Chicago sports fan. Okay, so in your personal life, you're probably used to a guy saying some dumb stuff every now and again. No, I'm very, very, I'm very used to it. A lot of people post that out there. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. That's not that's not the answer. How about exactly that? Right there. You like that? I too, love the control. shade. What I are you getting it. to, Cornette? I work Cornette. with you, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting to? All right, so to? Cam Newton. This is actually a very serious thing. Okay. Cam Newton popped off with some really ridiculous comments, talking about he thinks it's comical when women talk about routes. Uh -huh. You're a female sports reporter. You deal with predominantly men in your environment. Mm -hmm. This struck clearly close to home for you. What was your thoughts with that? And do you have any personal stories that were similar to what this female reporter experienced? Um, I do. I do have a, 
a personal story. Um, here's what I, I think about what Cam Newton said. I think what he said was awful. Okay, yes, it was a sexist term. Mm -hmm. He would never have said that to a male. Nobody would say that to a male. It doesn't matter who you are, being right. a star quarterback or not. It's a sexist term, period, end of story. I mean, it, let's call it what it is. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the fact that he didn't apologize for it right away. I think that shows true remorse when you can take a step back instantly, not a day later, and right. say, not when you lose your sponsors, and say, you're sorry. However, better late than never. I mm -hmm. think what he said was genuinely heartfelt. I do think he took a step back, looked in the mirror, looked at his own children, looked at a lot of people around him. At this weekend, I did a college football game. I had a female referee right in front of me the entire, the entire football game. There's females everywhere in this business, so you better get used to it, buddy. And I think he got used to it real quick. Shame on Cam, but I think he did the right thing in apologizing. As far as me and a personal experience, yeah, it, it happens. I was at a college basketball game last year. Um, I was getting ready, and before college basketball games, I always talk to the trainers and the SIDs, um, sports information directors, introduce you to those trainers right before the game. So I said, hey, I have yet to meet the trainer for this said basketball team. Would you mind just pointing them out to me? Well, it's hard to hear, it's quite loud, especially in the arena I was in, so I had to turn my head so we could talk in the ear where I didn't have my IFB and what you guys both have in your ears right now. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking in the opposite direction and he points, he goes, you know my team's in green, right? Insinuating I didn't even Ooh. know which team I was talking about. Oh, and gosh. I looked at him like, yeah, I know what team I'm covering, thank you. Why are you even saying that to me? So I didn't have time to really get into it with him, which I regret, but... <laughs> How do you deal with that but stuff when it I, I just looked at him like with disgust and mm -hmm. said, yes, I know what team I'm covering. I'll find the trainer myself, thank you. And I walked away. It, I don't, why would you insinuate I don't even know what team I'm about to cover? That mm -hmm. makes no sense to me because I'm a female. You would right. never have said that to one of the play-by-play -play guys or the color analyst. So that would be my personal experience. And yeah. it, it just took me back. I actually went home and told my boyfriend about it right away. And he couldn't believe the story either. I mean, it was just rude. So I just sometimes I think people need to understand there are females in this business. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows the same amount of information. We, I might not have the same experiences as someone that's played hoops or played football, but I can understand what a route is. I can understand what color the team is supposed to be in. Simple things. This isn't yeah. rocket science. Do you ever feel like there's more pressure on you as a woman in sports? Yes, to, 100%. To, to, yeah? If I mispronounce a name, I'm a dumb blonde, which is fair sometimes, okay? <laughs> no, stop. But if a male does that, we look past it. If mm. I say a stat wrong, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. If a male does that, we look past it. I do feel like I have to study four times more for something than a male does. You know, mm. it's just the nature of the beast. One thing I've learned is never interrupt and always stay out of the crosshairs of Shane Pepper. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right, sports are the topic of today's poll. We want to know what are you most excited for? Cubs game three or Mitch Trubisky's debut tonight? Vote now on our Facebook page at the Jam TV show and we'll check in with your responses later on in the show. That does it for your, your sports and review. For more sports news, you can always check us out on the jamtvshow.com.